Hi and welcome to a video XGen Arnold rendering tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to apply a texture to your Arnold shader in XGen. Right, so the first thing you want to do is select your description and assign a shader to it. In this case I'm assigning an Arnold hair shader. Now if we render this we can see that each hair strand has the entire texture map uh, along its one axis. And uh, that's not exactly what we intended to do. In this case, though, it's a fairly simple setup. I have a root color, which is yellow, and a tip color, which is blue. And this is what we get. Thing is, we want to make sure that some of the strands have one color and some other strands have a different color, so they're not all the same. Before we go any further, we need to make sure that our Maya path is set. So make sure that you know exactly where all the things that Maya output is being saved. Right, so let's try and paint a map in Maya. Go to the preview output tab in the XGen menu and scroll down to custom shader parameters. Now we want to create a custom attribute and I'm going to set it to color and I'm going to name this my color. Hit the plus button. Now we can go click the little arrow next to the expression button. If you click the create map, you can start painting a texture map in Maya. So I'm just going to paint something real quick and I'm going to hit the save button. And what that does is that it saves a ptex texture file in your xgen folder in your Maya project folder. So if we go in and find that folder named my color, which is the name of my attribute, we can see that we have a little file here named whatever and that's the file we just saved so we have the file here the file node and if I render now nothing happens now for Arnold to start using this texture map we need to create a node called user data color which is an Arnold node once you created that you can go in and copy the name of your attribute from the uh, description and paste that into the node that we just created like so. And once that's done, select your um, shader and uh, plug that node into the uh, color, or in this case, root color and tip color. Now, when I press render, you can see that there we go. It's rendering the texture as uh, I painted it. So the some of the strands are black, some of them are white, and it's not texturing along one axis. Now we can texture the individual strands with a normal texture map like a TIFF file that I painted in Photoshop or Mori. And if you haven't uh, already made a PTEX map, uh, you can do so uh, by following my Mori tutorial on how to make a PTEX map uh, from a non-PTEX map. Or you can uh, use the Maya method, which is open the node editor and you can select your geometry and show the network. Now we can see in here that the map that I painted here in Maya is connected to my custom attribute, my color. So I'm just going to create a new attribute called converted map because we're going to use Maya to convert the map. Now I'm just going to go ahead and create this new attribute called converted map. You can call it whatever you want. Hit plus and create it and uh, go and create a map by using the little arrow key. Now this is going to give us two new nodes that I am going to delete right away because we don't need them. Instead, I'm going to take my texture file node and drag it into my node editor and just connect the output color of this file node to the new uh, attribute that I just created. Then I'm going to hit the little save button and that's going to save my texture file, which is a TIFF file, as a ptex file in the Maya work folder that you specified in the beginning of the project. Now you don't have to create a new attribute, but since we did, I'm just going to select the name of the attribute and copy paste that into my um, user data color node so that Arnold is using that texture attribute instead of the old one. Once I click the render button, you'll see that the texture has been applied to the hair strands so they're no longer the same color but there's variation in the uh, different colors of the strands. So that's uh, texturing XGen fur in Maya with Arnold. Uh, 
and I apologize for the watermark, uh, but uh, apparently all the Arnold licenses are in use right now, so yeah. You know, it's a free tutorial, so uh, feel free to send all your complaints to my email and uh, I'll make sure to archive them right where they belong.